Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the procedure I made to turn 34.5% hydrochloric acid, aka muriatic acid, into concentrated hydrochloric. So the way this setup works is actually really simple. So you just have this area filled with hydrochloric acid, and then you add a hygroscopic salt. In this video we'll be using calcium chloride that will destroy the azeotrope. So then you can boil off the hydrogen chloride and bubble it through this system, and then it'll, the hydrogen chloride will bubble through more hydrochloric acid, and then it'll be, just be dissolved. So in this clip, I'm just adding some nice, relatively clean muriatic acid that I bought from Home Depot. So then I added some calcium chloride that I synthesized from seashells, and you may see that it's a bit brown, and that's because of it, it has impurities inside of it, but all the impurities are solid, so the distillation or evaporation shouldn't carry them over. Then, to the ground bottom flask, I added hydrochloric acid with solid impurities. The impurities were actually from a bit of calcium chloride that got in hydrochloric acid in my previous batch. And as you can see here, releasing hydrogen chloride fumes in the air really isn't a problem because most of it just dissolves in the water before it can reach the surface. Once the vapors reached 100 Celsius, I turned off the heating and I also removed the stopper so that way the pressure wouldn't go down and suck back up the concentrated hydrochloric acid. But this is not safe as you can see, because there are hydrogen chloride vapors that could get in your eyes. If you have any ideas on how to equalize the pressure without taking out the stopper, then I'd love to hear them because that's by far the most unsafe part of this procedure, and I don't really want you guys repeating that part because it's pretty dangerous. And you can see here that I got around 230 milliliters of concentrated HCl. I decided to store it in this plastic coke bottle, which probably isn't the best idea, but I made sure to label it very clearly. And yeah, then I was done. Now a lot of you may be thinking, well why don't you just boil the hydrochloric acid down? And that will actually increase the concentration of the hydrochloric acid to some degree, but at a certain point, specifically when the concentration hits 20.2%, then boiling down the solution will no longer increase the concentration. This is because hydrochloric acid will form an azeotrope with the water. Now, an azeotrope is, seems like a kind of daunting word, but it's really simple. What it basically means is that both components of your mixture are boiling off at the same rate meaning no matter how long you boil the solution, you're going to end up with the same concentration. Now this is caused mainly because of hydrogen bonding, as well as the solute having a higher chance of evaporating the more concentrated it is. Hey guys, you may have noticed that, not coincidentally, once I started school, my upload schedule went BAM out the window. And so I'm going to uh, try and upload more frequently, but I think you guys know how that's gonna go. Regardless, make sure to smash that like button, slam the subscribe button, and of course, dab all over that notification bell, and I did not just use dab in a non-ironic context. Okay, so I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Adios.